Jermaine. This time, I think we finally got it. Go get some glasses, will you? Okay. Charmaine? Yes, Eddie? Charmaine, you're not listening to me. Sure I am. Look, since you started cultivating those hops for Tony Bertesi's poison beer, you don't even know I exist. Tony's beer is not poison. Charmaine, the moment of truth has arrived. Well? It's terrific. Hey, Eddie, how about a sip of beer? No, thanks. Happier today than usual, huh? Come on. See you, Eddie. Yeah, sure. Sensors are picking something up out there, Commander. Anything specific? Can't tell yet. I'm on my way. All right, everybody. Get ready for the taste of a lifetime. Badeshi's brew number 29. Made from a generation of alpha hops, especially brewed by our famous hydroponics botanist, Shamine Williams. Shamine, you do the honors, please. No thanks, that need to ruin a beautiful friendship. Mm. As chief medical officer, I must retain my sanity. Uh, thanks, no, I happen to be on a liquid-free diet. I see. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, very funny. It didn't taste like that in hydroponics. Maybe we misjudge the fermentation. But we sure misjudge something. There is another string of hops, Tony. We could try again. No thanks, Shamine. Hydroponics is out. I'm gonna try something different. You think it's my fault? Well, I wasn't accusing her. She's a very sensitive girl, very impressionable. What's going on? Someone needs a little comfort. Shermine has a teenage crush on you, Tony. You have to handle her with care. But just because she cultivated a few hops for my beer? Oh, come on, you're all overreacting. Moonbase Alpha status report, 1,702 days after leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. After countless number of days of serenity, a simple case of teenage infatuation has broken out on Alpha. I'm on my way to treat it now and expect that it can be cured without any serious complications. Charmaine? You all right? Yeah, I must have fallen asleep. This dream, there was his face staring at me in the darkness. A nightmare, probably. You were very upset when you left command center. But the eyes, they were wanting me to stare back. They were coming closer. I could give you a tranquilizer. It'll make you feel better. Oh, no. Doctor, I, I'm really all right. After all, it was only a dream, wasn't it? I'd like to go back to hydroponics now. I, I have a few plantings I want to look after. Okay. Come along with me to medical center first. Magnify. Maya, give me a reading. Constellation Pintaris. Star 19 Pintaris. Planet. Uncharted satellite, atmosphere compatible, 
Temperature at constant 78 degrees, suitable for human habitation. Abundant vegetation, no sign of animal life. Bill, locate a landing site. We'll see just how good it is. Right. Medical center. Helena, I'd like you to join a landing party. I have some sequential lab tests I'm monitoring, John. I'll have to see them through. All right, I understand. John, I just left Shermeen. She was very upset. She said she saw a disembodied face staring at her from the wall. Well, she must have been having a nightmare. Well, I'm not sure. I gave her some tranquilizers and let her go back on duty. Well, good, because I'd like her to join a landing party. I don't think she's in any condition to join a landing party. I think you'd better find a substitute. All right, Helena, thank you. Bill, tell Eddie Collins I want him to join a landing party. Now, what's bothering you, young Tony? Oh, Shamine's been on the first team a long time, Joan. She's gonna be very hurt. Well, she looks up to you, Tony. You explain it to her, okay? Apologize. What for? For being an unfeeling, insensitive bore. Oh, you're not that, Tony. I didn't mean to be rough on you. I know you put in a lot of time and effort to help me, and, well, I wish I had an excuse for acting the way I did. It's all right, I understand. It's okay. <laughs> should we try again? Oh, sure, we should try again. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I got a hunch we'll come up with the right combination next time. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, maybe if we cross-pollinated the barley hybrids. Oh, sure, that sounds like a great idea. Look, there's something else you mean. You know that planet that's hanging out there? Mm -hmm. Well, the commander's sending a small landing party. I can be ready yeah, Hang on. You've been upset, and Eddie Collins is the botanist that we're taking. You know I've been collecting specimens from every place we've been to. Yeah, I know I tried to tell them that. You tried to tell them? It was probably your idea that I don't go. Oh, you're a hypocrite. Shame. That's why you came up here. And not to apologize. Oh, I hate you. I don't ever want to see you again. Shame. Oh, don't touch me. I'm sorry. I bet you are. I mean, I am not a figment of your imagination. Who are you? Where are you from? My name is Vindrus. And I suppose you could say I come from Sunim. Sunim? The planet that you are now approaching, where you will find the answer to your present unhappiness. You will see it soon. It's not possible. Oh, I assure you it is. You have my word. I'm not going down to see him. Ed is going. So I heard. But trust me, Shamin. Just do as I ask. And you will go with the landing party. And Tony will never upset you again. Is that the Magnus Lalarium? Break open the pod 
and select a healthy seed. Now, put it on the propaganda scope. Now, bombard it with protons. Increase the bombard. Switch off. Plant it. But be careful. Now return to your quarters and prepare to embark. I don't understand. Why am I... There isn't time to explain, Shamin. Go, quickly. Hurry, Shamin, hurry. Hey, Shamin. Hey, Shamin, don't be mad. Is all the gear on board, Eagle One? Yep, all on board. Where's Eddie Collins? Well, I don't know. Should have been here. Shireen. I thought you were supposed to be in hydroponics. You need a botanist. Yes, but I thought Eddie Collins... Oh, Eddie Collins has suddenly been taken sick. He's on his way to the medical center. Dr. Russell said I was fit for duty. Sure, you're okay. No nightmares. No nightmares. Good. Well, good luck. Under control, Commander. You, Shireen? Shireen? More prepared. Is there any variation on previous readings? No hostile environment. Temperature still constant at 78 degrees. No life forms. Everything down here is exactly like Earth. There should be life forms. Keep checking. Bill? Commander? You all right? Yeah. Just disembarkation readjustment. Shuddered. But not from God. I felt as if I ghosted. 
I had a superstitious grandmother. <laughs> well, if you want to knock on wood, there's plenty of that about. <laughs> structure, obviously built by intelligent life. My senses still record no life forms. Come past the obelisk. Shermeen. Better find her. Cody to Alpha. Cody to Alpha. Cody to Moonbase Alpha. Cody to Alpha. Come in, Alpha. Quite safe. Go on, Shamin. That's right. Go on, Shamin. Past him. that you wouldn't be harmed. I wasn't even frightened. You will not fear on Sunim, Shamim. My only concern is for your well-being. But first, I must cross from my world into yours. I don't understand. I thought you were already here. Only in spirit, not in substance. This machine will enable my solid body to come over into your world. If you would assist me. How? An unfortunate accident. Sometime in the past, the generator exploded. So before I can help you, you must help me. If you will detach this cylinder and take it to Alpha. But you were on Alpha. Why didn't you take it there yourself? I cannot. As I've explained to you, I'm only here in spirit. 
not in substance. I do with it? That will be explained to you. For the time being, just put it with the clippings in your specimen bag. I can't find her. Shermin gone. I can't raise Alpha. Our senses recorded no animal life, yet we saw that creature. Well, there could be a shield force coming from that structure. Cutting out our communications and blocking out our sensors. Commander! She's been here. I just found this. And her footprints lead towards the structure. <laughs> How did she get past that creature? I don't know. Even though the tracks lead in that direction, could be she never made it inside. There's one way to find out. Maya. Shermine, are you all right? Of course. Why shouldn't I be? Well, how did you get in here? I walked in. The creature must have been concentrating on us and missed you. Come on, let's get outside. The commander's worried. Oh, wait a minute. I want to get this done on video. <laughs> Koenig to Alpha. Koenig to Alpha. Come in, Alpha. Shermin seems to have some kind of immunity. Mm. Let's go. Shermaine? Wow. 
mind if we have a little chat? No. I'm curious. How did you get into that temple? Just walked in, Commander. Well, I know, but when I tried to do that, the... the creature attacked me. What I'm trying to find out, Shireen, is why didn't the creature attack you? I don't know. Maybe it knew that I wouldn't attack him. <laughs> why did you go in there? It's just very peaceful. You could have been hurt. No harm will come to me on Sunim, Commander. And where? Uh, on the planet. Is that what it's called? Sunim? Yes. How do you know that? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, someone must have told me. Someone? Who? I don't remember. Now, why are you asking me all these questions? I haven't done anything wrong. Of course you haven't. I'm not even suggesting you have. Shereen, I'm very glad you came along with us. In fact, I'll be very curious to find out about those. You will give me a report, won't you? Yes. Y yes, I will. Good. I found these on the walls. They depict the whole evolutionary process of man. Emerging from a, a sea of primeval slime, then advancing through all stages of development, simian, australopithecus, neanderthal, cro-magnon, to modern. Well, they sure look human enough. I'm not sure, Commander. What do you mean? There's something strange. Somewhere up the ladder of development, at some period in time, something happened. There was violent death. Whoever they were, they must have died in some searing burst of energy. Well, that would explain why our senses recorded no life forms. But yet you did see a life form. Yeah. So what's the explanation? Well, based on uh, what I've observed in computer hypothesis, I think we're dealing with a form of antimatter against matter. This accelerator was set up in the temple. I've seen a similar one once before on my own planet. What's its function? It's used to convert antimatter into matter. Huh. That's a theory I never did understand. Well, this is made up of particles of matter, and this is made up of particles of matter. Even this is made up of particles of matter. I don't have to be a genius to understand that. Well, for every particle of matter, there's a balancing particle of antimatter. It's called the law of symmetry. In other words, it's nature's way of maintaining a balance. We live in a world of matter. So in theory, there must be an antimatter world. We're existing where? Here, now. Occupying our space? No. Occupying their own anti-space. If there was an antimatter being here right now, yeah. my hand would go straight through him. I see. Tony. Something happened to Shemin on that planet. I want to know what it was. Well, why don't you ask her? I did, but she was holding back. Oh, I see. You want me to ask her, right? Right. I think you can reach her. Not anymore, I don't think. Try, Tony. Because if we don't find out, Okay. I'll try. What you must do, Shamin, is to take that cylinder to the equipment room. There are many nuclear generators in there. You must find one into which that cylinder fits. Shamin, I'd like to talk to you. What about? About the way you've been behaving. You haven't been yourself. You used to be so happy, full of life, and now you walk around it as if you're sleepwalking. Where did you get that? Sunim. My name is Vindrus. Shamin has very kindly volunteered to assist me. 
Assist you? To do what? To cross over into your world. I see our world is more attractive than yours. Not really. But you see, you in your world have started your evolutionary process from the slime in the ocean and are ascending towards perfection sometime in the distant future. We in the antimatter world, however, started our evolutionary process at the top and are descending towards the slime. So, our future is extinction. Don't try to give the alarm, Mr. Videshi. You will never reach it. Well, we have no objection to your crossing over into our world, Vindras. If it'll keep you from ending up in the slime, why don't you let us help you cross over? Thank you for your offer. But you would not do it willingly. Why not? Because nature has to be kept in balance. For everyone who crosses into your world, one of you must cross into ours. You will forget everything that took place here. You know what you have to do, Shamim. Shemin, what can I do for you? I thought you had planned. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted something to brighten up the equipment room. Oh, come on, Shemin. You know, if there's one thing I can do without, it's plants. Not this one, though. Mm -hmm. This one's very special. Mm -hmm. You'll like it. It has a really beautiful fragrance. Fragrance. You must take us to Sunim. So does Chris Potter. We found him in the equipment room in the same state you're in. What? Yeah. Not only that. One of our miniature nuclear generators is missing. <sighs> Commander? Yes, Maya? Eagle One has just taken off without authorization. What? Who's aboard her? Fraser was piloting. Shermin was with him. Well, that figures, doesn't it? I want Eagle 2 on the pad ready for immediate liftoff. Come on, let's go. I'll just turn the green dial a fraction more to the right. Excellent. Now all that remains is for me to come into your world, Shami. Hypnotic. 
The temple. It'll bounce back to us. It won't come past that point. Hold us attention. We won't go past the obelisk. How did you know? Our sensors showed no life forms on Sunim. So it had to be antimatter. We have three more ready for the transfer. Welcome. Welcome to Sunni. My name is Vindrus. What? Well, I know it's crazy, but I feel I've seen him before. How is it our lasers bounce off antimatter? We have evolved certain techniques in our many attempts to cross over. As you have witnessed, we can reflect electrical beams and project into our minds the illusion that an antimatter form may appear solid. Yes. Are you antimatter? There's only one way to find out. Obviously, I am no longer antimatter. You've taken over one of our technicians. She's here somewhere. I want her back. She's inside the temple. Send her out. Well, I wanted her to come out with me, but she refuses. Perhaps it would be better if you came in and got her yourself. John, don't go in there. Don't ask me how I know, but there's terrible danger in there. Maya, stay with Tony. I'm going in with him. You stay out here as a backup, Maya. Commander! Tony! Now I remember. Yes. Now you are permitted to remember. 
You sent her into your world so that you could come into ours. We have to maintain the balance. We would prefer it to be different, of course, but unfortunately, it is the only way we can come over. Where is she, Vindris? You're going to see her very soon, Commander. My coming here is an act of self-survival. If it was the other way around, you'd do the same. What about Shermin's survival? She can expect an anti-life of hundreds of years. And so can you, Commander. And Mr. Videshi. And Maya. How many others, Vindris? How many others? Certainly not just us. Not even just Alpha. Eventually, we will establish machines such as this throughout the universe. No, Tony! No! Commander Koenig is already aware that your lasers are, shall we say, counterproductive. However, we have weapons that are quite effective. Vendris, we're no good to your dead. You need us alive so you can make the exchange. Accept the exchange. Both of you. As individuals, you will have an extended anti-life span. And our species? Please. Into the cabinets, gentlemen. Vendris, Shireen's coming back. She's coming back. Impossible. No, Vendris, it's not. She never got fully into your world, Vendris. She only got halfway. I knew what you were after, so I programmed the generator so it couldn't function on full power. It's no use, Vendris. She'll be back. She didn't go all the way. There wasn't enough power. Vindras! Vindras, come here! I'm over here, Vindras, come to me. Now be afraid, Vindras. You have to try again. They're waiting for me. If I cannot reach them, we will be destroyed. Stop. Do no. not be afraid. No, Vendor. We have to try again, Vendor. They're waiting for me. Stop. 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 and antimatter will collide. Right. And this corner of the universe will be blotted out.
remember. Self-destruct. Better get the door open so we can get out of here. There's got to be a switch here somewhere. Wait a minute. He was standing there when he closed it. Matter will be destroyed, not antimatter. Hey, look at that. The whole planet's just disappeared right from under us. It's gone back to being antimatter. clear, Alpha. Loud and clear. We're on our way back to Alpha now. Out. The problem is mechanical. It's not creative, no way. Proper flow, at the proper time, to the proper place. That's the trick. Oh, Shamine, you brought me some new hops. Thanks. I'll be right with you as soon as I fix this. Not the new ones, Tony. They're the old ones. Yeah? Oh. oh well, how about storing them for me till I'm ready? Hmm? I'm sorry, Tony. I don't have the room in hydroponics anymore. I'm clearing out that area. No more hops. Huh? No more hops? Eddie Collins has a rather interesting theory on plant growth. And Eddie and I need that area for our own cultivating. How about that? A couple of days ago, Shermin was pining away due to unrequited love. Yeah, and now she looked straight through me like I was... Antimatter. Yeah. Hey, antimatter. Yeah. Now, if I could blend some antimatter hops with some hydroponic barley, or some antimatter barley with some hydroponic hops, it... where would I get the antimatter grain from? Hmm. And then if I did come up with a great beer, would I be able to see it or taste it? Mm -hmm. 